Top 10 Haunted Paintings That Scared Their Owners Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to another thrilling video. Today, we're diving into the mysterious world of haunted paintings. Now, I know video and audio recordings have stolen the spotlight, but there's still an allure about these eerie artworks that can send shivers down your spine. So, let's explore the top 10 haunted paintings that have scared their owners. But before we begin, don't forget to smash that like button and let me know in the comments below if you would ever dare to purchase one of these spooky masterpieces if money wasn't an issue. Alright, let's get started. Segment 1. Stagecoach by Laura P. Kicking off our list as Stagecoach by Laura P. This painting is based on a real-life photograph taken by photographer James Kidd. After developing the picture, James noticed something chilling, a headless man standing near an old wagon. Laura P., an artist compelled to recreate this eerie photo, experienced a deep sense of dread while painting it. Once the piece was finished, bizarre occurrences began in the local office where it was displayed. The painting would mysteriously tilt every morning, items went missing, and strange noises echoed throughout. Even after moving it to her own home, Laura continued to experience haunting phenomena. Spooky, right? Segment 2. The Hands Resist Him by Bill Stone. Now, let's talk about one of the most infamous haunted paintings, The Hands Resist Him by Bill Stoneham. This cursed piece gained notoriety when it was listed on eBay, with reports of the boy and girl within the painting moving at night. The painting's unsettling imagery, with the boy's intense gaze and the girl standing in front of a window to avoid, sparked discomfort and even illness in some viewers. To make it even spookier, both the first critic and the gallery owner who displayed the painting passed away within a year. Coincidence or curse? You decide. Segment 3. The Crying Boy by Bruno Amarillo, Giovanni Bragolin. Next up, we have The Crying Boy by Bruno Amarillo, also known as Giovanni Bragolin. This series of paintings gained a dark reputation in the 80s when unexplained fires started occurring in homes across England. Surprisingly, amid the ashes and devastation, the Crying Boy paintings were found untouched. This led to a widespread belief that the paintings themselves caused the fires and brought misfortune to their owners. I mean, who would want a painting of a crying kid on their wall? It's just. Strange, right? Segment 4. Love Letters by Richard King, Replica. Moving on to Love Letters by Richard King, a replica of Charles Trevor Garland's original artwork. This painting depicts a young girl believed to be Samantha Houston, who tragically fell to her death at the Driscoll Hotel in Austin, Texas. Some guests claim they feel uneasy around the painting, as if her eyes are following their every move. There have even been reports of people fainting upon gazing at it for too long. Some say her expression changes, and she even appears to slightly shift her position. Talk about a creepy portrait, right? Segment 5. The Dead Mother by Edvard Munch. Now, let's discuss The Dead Mother by Edvard Munch. This painting, as the title suggests, portrays a child standing next to her deceased mother's bed. The haunting imagery of a shocked and devastated child looking straight at us has earned this painting a dark reputation. Some claim the child's eyes follow you, but the creepiest legend surrounding it is the alleged sound of rustling bedsheets when standing near the painting. I don't know about you, 
but that gives me the chills. Segment 6. The Portrait of Bernardo de Galvez is up next, we have the mysterious portrait of Bernardo de Galvez. The artist behind this portrait remains unknown, adding to its enigmatic allure. The painting depicts Spanish military leader Bernardo de Galvez and hangs in the hallway of the Hotel Galvez in Galveston, Texas. Some guests and staff claim that the eyes of the portrait seem to follow them as they walk by. There are even rumors that taking a picture of the painting without asking for Galvez's permission results in distorted or out-of-focus images. Intriguing, right? Segment 7. The Rain Woman by Svetlana Telets. Brace yourselves for The Rain Woman by Svetlana Telets. The artist described feeling watched for six months before creating this painting. Owners who purchased it reported a haunting presence in their homes, experiencing insomnia, nightmares, and a constant feeling of being observed. There's just something about this painting, the distorted body, the strange hat, the dark backdrop, that sends shivers down my spine. Can you imagine encountering the Rain Woman's gaze in the darkness of your own home? No, thank you. Segment 8. The Portrait of Henriette Nelson by William Johnson. Now, let's delve into The Portrait of Henriette Nelson by William Johnson. Henriette met a tragic end when she fell down a staircase in Yaxley Hall, England. Since then, a local legend has emerged, claiming that her spirit lingers, seeking a way back to her intended final resting place. Witnesses have reported unsettling occurrences, including her expression changing in the painting and sightings of a ghostly figure resembling Henriette wandering the estate's grounds. That's some ghostly company. Segment 9. The Anguished Man, Artist Unknown. Coming in at number 2, we have The Anguished Man. This painting, with its featureless figure consumed by darkness, immediately unsettles anyone who lays eyes on it. Urban legends suggest that the artist painted part of the picture with his own blood before taking his own life. The current owner, Sean Robinson, received the painting from his grandmother, who heard wailing and crying sounds from her attic where it was stored. Disturbing incidents followed, including objects moving on their own and a sense of unseen hands pushing people. Definitely spine chilling. Segment 10. Pogo the Clown by John Wayne Gacy. And finally, the number one haunted painting on our list is Pogo the Clown by John Wayne Gacy. Now, this painting is truly disturbing, depicting Gacy's alter ego. Although a musician purchased the painting in 2001, strange misfortunes followed. The owner's dog passed away, his mother was diagnosed with cancer, and a friend who took the painting had a neighbor die in a car crash. Another friend, who also had the painting, attempted suicide. Coincidence or something more sinister? You be the judge. Alright, folks, that concludes our list of the top 10 haunted paintings that scared their owners. I hope you enjoyed this spine-tingling journey through the world of eerie artworks. Remember, if you ever come across one of these paintings, think twice before hanging it on your wall. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our next bone-chilling video. Stay spooky, everyone.